Hey guys, I'm Jackie and welcome back to Jackie Naturals. I hope y'all are having an awesome day. So if you haven't noticed by the title of this video, I am super excited because we are unboxing one of my favorite subscription boxes and that is BoxyCharm. And this is a very special month. This is a Boxy Lux month. Yes guys, this is the box that comes quarterly. This is their biggest subscription box and this is the upgrade to the base box. So you do have to have the base box to upgrade this quarterly. The base box, just so you know, is $25. You get five full-size products. It's normally they say valued at $175. Then they have the premium box, which I also get. I actually have not received mine yet, so this is not going to be a battle. We're just going to do Lux this time, but the premium is $35. You get six full-size products, and it's normally valued at $215. And for this big boy, and this thing is heavy, okay, I'm fighting to hold this thing up. It is a $49.99, so you pay an additional $24. $4.99 on your $25 base box subscription and you get eight plus full-size items guys valued at $395. Now it doesn't always meet that mark, but it is very high. The value is amazing. You get so much value. So it's a no brainer, especially if you want to build your collection. I definitely recommend it. Boxy is my favorite. I love premium, but Lux is also typically amazing. I will say I did see Boxy Charm unbox it and I wasn't too happy about it. So hopefully I got a good variation because I did see someone else unbox it and theirs look nice. So we're going to hope I got the good one we're not gonna ramble on though we're gonna keep on going guys i am so super excited i cannot wait to see what i got so let's go ahead and open it up i'm so excited so once you open it up this is what it looks like it is black inside this is boxy charm and i don't see a card let me see if i can find one so unfortunately guys i checked my box and i have a no card that is definitely disappointing so i won't be able to give you guys prices but i'm going to tell you guys what i customized and if i can do some research and calculate the total i'll put it on the screen at the end um but sorry guys boxy you let me down on this one don't mess up on lux but anyway we're going to start with the first product that i customized so the first one that I chose was this here and this is from the brand iconic London and this is the triple threat mascara and I have never tried this mascara from them so I am definitely excited about that I'm definitely gonna be giving this a try I cannot wait to try it out I love mascaras so this is exciting and I do love that gold packaging very pretty again don't have prices but I did choose this I love mascaras guys I wear about five mascaras every day on my top lashes I normally stick to one or two on the bottom but I'm wearing about five on my top lashes okay because I don't wear many falsies so I love putting on and loading on the mascara to make my eyelashes really pop so yes that's all right up my alley the other thing that I chose was this here guys and this is a rare beauty palette and I think I'm gonna keep this one I was thinking about putting it in a giveaway but I'll be honest I haven't tried anything from the brand and I keep hearing such amazing things so I really 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 want to try it I love that packaging it is super duper cute so let's see what it says it says just eyeshadow palette and it says a magnetic spirit so I'm not sure if that's the name of it let's see oh my god I'm so excited let's see let's see let's see it looks really pretty I didn't expect it to be this small I must say but the packaging is gorgeous guys look at that packaging Oh my gosh, hopefully my camera is picking it up, but it is so pretty, very, very pretty. Love the packaging. Definitely Rare Beauty gets it with the packaging. And it does have a huge mirror, so I'm gonna cover it. It says you are rare on their plastic right there. And those are the pretty colors. Again, I have never tried Rare Beauty anything, so I think I'm gonna give this a try just because I wanna try the formula and the colors do look super pretty so stay tuned if i decide to put it in a giveaway i will but more than likely i'll use this it'll be in an upcoming video but love the packaging of this definitely happy i chose this just wish it was a little bit bigger for a palette for a boxy but i do think i got another palette in here and i think this is a contour palette i believe i remember seeing this on the unboxing and it was kind of like oh okay i mean it's huge I like that they bubble wrapped it to make sure it was secure. So this is it right here. It is a contour palette and it is from Cab Cosmetics. So I have a contour palette that I use. It's Heart Park F Princess. It actually came in my very first Lux. I probably need to throw it away if I'm being honest because it's probably reached its date. Um, <laughs> but I love it so much. I just hold on to it. 
Oh, the pans in this are huge. All right, so it has a huge mirror, so I'm gonna cover that. So that is nice. And these pan sizes, I will give them credit. They're humongous. Look at those big pan sizes. They are really, really big. So that is really nice. But I don't know, like this is probably going to be the only shade that I can use on my skin or suntan, these two. So I kind of feel like it's a waste for this whole palette. I mean, I know they use it for other things. It's translucent, a banana. Oh, so you can use it for other things. So maybe I will keep it because they said the formula is supposed to be really good. So maybe I will keep it. Maybe I'll put it in a giveaway. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, could I have done without this product? I'm going to be honest. Yes, but it's not bad to definitely get... Um, a full contour palette should work for everybody it should have a shade well not everybody but almost everybody so that's nice so let's see what we have next so we have the saturday skin pretty pop probiotic power whipped cream so i'm gonna assume that this is like a moisturizer and let's see what it looks like oh my gosh i'm so excited okay so this is it here i like that holographic packaging if you could see that there i don't know if i'm gonna try this it says an exclusive Peptide formula that promotes a look of skin's natural glow and renewal. Okay, um, it sounds nice. This is probiotic power whipped cream benefits. Four times probiotics to boost the look of a healthy complexion. Two times pro prebiotics to activate the full power of the probiotic infusion. Multi-benefit niacinamide helps to improve texture, tone, and radiance to the skin. Okay, Unveil Your Luminosity, a soft and luxurious cream with encapsulated probiotics activated by prebiotics for healthy and radiant looking skin. So this does sound really nice and I love that holographic packaging. That is really, really cute. A for packaging once again. I'll give back to it on the packaging this month. Very nice. So the next thing they chose for me was the shampoo and conditioner. So I'm not totally mad at that actually. It's a CBD. I have gotten the leave-in and I did kind of like it. So I'm not so mad about getting this shampoo and conditioner. So now I have the leave-in so I can try it all together. So I am happy about this. And like I said, it's CBD. It says daily hydrating shampoo and intense hydration and repair conditioner. So the sizes are a little bit small. It's 8.5 fluid ounces. Um, my hair is natural. It's naturally curly. So I do use a lot of products. So this is kind of small for me, but definitely excited to try it out. So I'm not mad at that. Definitely happy about that. The next thing is from the Nude Co. and it's Defense Drops. And it's this herbal supplement. Oh, and I did see this and I didn't want to get it. Okay. This is natural immunity support adaptogenic alcohol free and it says we make supplements from clean sources using ingredients that do not harm people or the planet bringing together the best in nature and in science and this is actually a supplement it says your first line of defense echinacea and astragalus are proven to support immune function while adaptogenic ooh, shisandra and you look Lothoro, this is interesting. Okay, this is hard to say. Help to moderate your body's response to stress. Use our immunity supporting tincture at the first sign of a cold or whenever you need a finer fighter in your corner. Oh, okay, so you don't take it all the time, I guess. I mean, we do need immune support right now. I do take elderberry, I take vitamin C, vitamin D, um, a multivitamin, like I pack up on my vitamins. So here it is here, it's like a dropper, you take it as a vitamin. And you know what, I'm probably gonna end up keeping this because it's a little weird to give it to someone. Oh, it's sealed. So I don't, I'll probably keep this, but this was a little weird to get in the box. I have a funny stomach and I have stomach issues, gastritis, acid reflux. Stomach stuff is like kind of scares me, something to put in my mouth, but we'll try it out, I guess, and we'll see what happens. This is one of the things I was hoping I wouldn't get. I'll probably give this to my husband. This is the Lifestyle Co. Bamboo Polish, Bamboo Body Polish. And it's 100% natural. This is what's inside bamboo stem extract, hoba oil, and aloe vera. Okay. The aloe vera kind of got me a little bit. It's a vegan, paraben-free, sulfate-free. My husband would love this. It's all natural. He likes to use all natural products. And it's a vegan and stuff, so he would definitely love this. And what you're supposed to do is squeak, scoop between fingers, apply to wet skin, and gently massage in a circular motion, focusing on rough areas. I don't have rough skin. I don't have that issue. My husband does. So like I said, I'll probably give it to him, and you just rinse thoroughly and pat dry for soft, moisturized skin. And this is actually a little bit liquidy. Yeah, see, hold on, let's see if I can do it without making a mess. If you guys can see, hopefully you can see it. Yeah, if you can see, it's kind of like moves. So it's not, it's not fully, yeah, you see how wet it is? It's not like a thick, it seems like it has sugar in there. 
because a little bit grainy, but okay. And then I have my last product, and it's this here, and this is a sleep mask. And again, wasn't too excited about this. I don't use these. Maybe I should with my allergies and my sinuses and my, my you know, darkness here, but I even have one that just covers, you don't put it in the fridge, but I never use it. This is a sleep mask, though. It's a hot and cool gel bead eye mask. It's, it's from Grace and Stella, and it says, shh, let's just sleep. So this is it here. It is sealed. I'm not going to open it, but I'll insert a picture so you guys can see what it looks like. It's just, it, it looks, it looks pretty. Again, I don't know if I'm going to use it. So it's just like, oh, I feel like I got a lot of stuff that I don't really like. I don't want this. I really don't want this. I kind of don't want the immune support because it's like scary for me in my stomach. I mean, the other products are nice. So I guess it's like half and half. Because mascara, I'm all about mascaras. The palette was pretty. The hair products, the moisturizer it sounds nice. So it's half and half. I definitely still got my money's worth. Like I said, I'll put the total value on the screen if I can find everything and calculate everything. If not, I'm sorry if it's not popping up right now. That means I cannot find the prices for everything, but I'm going to try to search the BoxyCharm website to see if I can find it. And if I can, I will put it. But it's still a great value. Definitely worth it. Did this box wow me? Absolutely not. I must say it did not wow me. The palette was really pretty. The mascara is nice. The shampoo and conditioner, I must say, I'm actually pretty excited about the shampoo and conditioner. And the palette does look pretty. But other than that, like... I don't know. I, I am on product overload and I always try to say it in my video so you guys don't think I'm just being harsh. I have a lot of products so I have become a little bit picky. I got one face, <laughs> one head of hair, and I don't have that much hair to begin with. My hair is pretty thin. So it's kind of hard for me to use all these products. So it's like, ugh. See, there's my hair there, but yeah, it's just super hot here in South Florida. It's like 100 degrees, so I don't want to wear too much um, hair out and all that. It's just too much to keep up with. So. This is me. This is what I've been doing lately. I did try to do a cute eye look for you guys. So can you guys guess what palette I use? It's one that we got in a boxy charm, but it's premium. It was like, not last month, I don't believe, but the month prior. And it was the ABH Takeover. It was this beauty here, guys. And this is the ABH Norvina. And this is the Volume 1 palette. And I used, oops, let me see if I can cover this up, the mirror a little bit. So I use this color here, A1 in that top inner portion and I always bring it down a little bit. Then I used A2 right after it. Then I used A3 right after that and put it right in that outer corner to darken it up. And then on my bottom lash line, and oh, by the way, I did also use this color here, B1 and A2 for transition shades. So that's what I did on the top lid. I just used one, two, three, four on the top. And then on the bottom, you guys know what I've been telling you. I've been loving, okay? I use these two, and these are the ColourPop Cream Gel Liners. I use this one, which is Icebreaker, which is a little bit lighter in the inner portion because it's just weird to me to go to all of a sudden like that bright green. I see it on so many people. My girl Steph's beauty stash does it all the time. It looks great on her. But for me, for some reason, I feel like it looks a little funny. So I did do like a little more of a gradient look, a little bit right there. And then I went in with the darker color, and this is cat suit so i love these two i did the green i did the purple and green because i'm kind of wearing purple and green today so i definitely love this combo i love purple eye looks lately that has become my thing that and green are some of my favorites so i kind of put them together and said we're going to do something funky and fun and you guys know i had to bring it in i also use this stila stay all day waterproof liquid liner I got from my girl Tara's Corner. So thank you, boo. I'm using it. It didn't bother me today. Once again, some days it bothers me. Some days it doesn't, but this is a great liner. Um, when it's not bothering my eyes, really, really nice and black and really easy to work with. And then I put on one of my favorite purples and I saw my girl Gigi Loves Beauty too. She actually wore this in a video the other day too. I saw it. I believe it actually was today, earlier today. She had this on in one of her videos and this is a Kat Von D lipstick in LUV. And I love this. First of all, that pack with that studded um, packaging is so pretty and then I put on this little purple lippy so you guys have to tell me what you think about this look again I did go to work just came home so let me know what you think about it I hope you enjoyed it it's been about like um maybe nine hours since I've been wearing this look so let me know what you think what do you think about my boxy charm box am I being a little too harsh I mean it was good but it didn't wow me I feel like with these bigger boxes you need a really nice eyeshadow palette to really make it stand out. But I love eyeshadow, as you can see, bright, bold colors. So I just feel like it's kind of lacking on that. The Rare Beauty looks nice, but it, 
a nice bigger palette would have been even better if I'm being honest <laughs> but, like even my premium box I'm getting spoiler a Fenty palette one of her little palettes and it's Fenty so it's like I'm excited about that but Rare Beauty I am excited to try it out though and like I said this packaging oh my god I love it I love it I'm probably just gonna keep it for the packaging and just to show you guys an eye look but very very pretty like absolutely stunning packaging so so pretty so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, give your girl a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and press that bell button so you're notified of any future videos. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, you guys.